This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. Some people may be familiar with a man known as Father Z. He's a Novus Ordo, quote, priest who is influential with certain so-called conservative members of the Vatican II Church. Unfortunately, he's a total heretic who embraces and defends the Vatican II apostasy. Z is also an outrageous liar who ignores or attempts without success to explain away basically every heresy the Vatican II antipopes teach. For example, Z recently argued that anti-Pope Francis' statement on atheists did not deny Catholic teaching or indicate that atheists can be saved. That is, of course, nonsense. He also made futile attempts to justify other blatantly heretical statements anti-Pope Francis recently made, such as anti-Pope Francis' repudiation of converting people. In September of 2013, we wrote to Z and challenged him to a debate about the heresies in Vatican II or whether Francis is a true pope. He did not respond. However, what I want to mention in this video is that about three weeks ago, on October 10th, 2013, quote, Father Z made a bizarre post about his tour in the Vatican Museum. The title of the post is Rome de Four, Raphael, Ravioli, and so forth. The first three pictures Z posts are very strange, and in my opinion, indicative of a major spiritual problem. Z displayed three images of totally naked male statues. We apologize for even showing what Z displayed but we feel it's necessary in order to expose him. These pictures of naked male statues apparently interested and fascinated Z so much that he wanted to share these pictures with people. They were the first three images in his post. Now that we've shown what he actually posted, we have covered up the parts of the statues which show the naked private parts of the males. By the way, naked statues like this should not have remained in the Vatican, and they should have been removed or covered up a long time ago, but that's a topic for another day. But the question is, why would someone, number one, be interested in statues showing and focusing on the naked private parts of males, and number two, be so interested in these images that he not only takes pictures of them, but he feels it's important to share them with people? Think about that. In fact, consider the third image he posts. It's an image of a statue that only shows and focuses on the lower half of a man and his private parts. Now let me be clear, I don't know that Z is a definite sexual pervert or a homosexual. However, in my opinion, being interested in images like this and posting them is indicative of a major spiritual problem and possible or probable sexual perversion. For why would someone and a man be interested in these pictures? If Z is a sexual pervert or a homosexual, it would not be surprising because Z attempts to defend lies, idolatry, and apostasy of the worst kind. History shows us that sexual perversion is frequently connected to idolatry and apostasy, as Romans 1 teaches. Z attempts, unsuccessfully, to defend the most insidious spiritual perversion and spiritual fornication of all time, the wicked apostasy of Vatican II and the Vatican II antipopes. Z attempts to explain away the Vatican II antipopes' promotion of Christ-denying heresies, heretical sects, false religions, false gods, and religious indifferentism. Spiritually speaking, that is as dark and as bad as it gets. Thus, should we be surprised if this kind of evil manifests itself in other ways? In fact, on our site and in our book, we have an article about how the horrible sex scandals among the Vatican II sects, so-called priests, and the rampant homosexuality is connected to their idolatry and apostasy. In fact, it's very interesting to note that Z was, quote, ordained by anti-Pope John Paul II himself, the man we believe was the Antichrist. Z was therefore touched by the Antichrist. See our video on the Apocalypse for a full presentation of where the Antichrist fits into prophecy. Quote, Father John Carapi was also, quote, ordained by John Paul II. And Carapi subsequently secured a massive following among so-called conservative members of the Vatican II sect. Carapi kept his followers in the counterchurch and misled them about the current apostasy, just as Z does who was also touched by anti-Pope John Paul II. Carapi was eventually proven to be a spiritual fraud and in fact a sexual pervert. His own order found him guilty of sexual immorality and other things. However, long before others recognized the truth about Carapi, we did a video exposing him as a spiritual fraud. The parallels between Z and Carapi, who have both played a role for the devil in deceiving false conservatives, are striking. While Z's promotion of heresy and apostasy in itself proves that he's not a Catholic and on the road to hell. When people commit or defend a spiritual fornication as Z does, they are likely to have other big problems. We wanted to share his peculiar post with people because we feel it reveals the dark forces that lurk within the defenders of the Vatican II sect 
its demonic heresies, and its demonic antipopes.